Today I'm going to read a story to you called Night in the Country. This story was written by Cynthia Ryland. The pictures are by Mary Zalagia. I grew up in the country, so I can relate to most of what's in this story. And I think after you hear this story, you'll want to visit the country at night as well. There is no night so dark, so black, as night in the country. In little houses, people lie sleeping and dreaming about daytime things, while outside, in the fields, and by the rivers, and deep in the trees, there is only one night in nighttime things. There are owls, great owls, with marble eyes, who swoop among the trees, and who are not afraid of night in the country. Night birds. There are frogs. Night frogs who sing songs for you every night. Creak, 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 creak. Night songs. And if you are one of those people in one of those little houses, and if you cannot sleep, you will hear the sounds of night in the country all around you. Outside, the dog's chain clinks as he gets up for a drink of water. Far over the hill, you hear someone open and close a creaking screen door. You wonder who's up so late. And if you are very still, you may hear an apple fall far from the tree in the backyard. But listen. Later, the rabbits will patter into your yard and eat pieces of your fallen apples, but only when they think you are asleep. And all around you, on a night in the country, are the groans and thumps and squeaks that houses make when they are trying, like you, to sleep. Outside, a raccoon mother licks her babies. A cow nuzzles her calf. An old pig rolls over in the barn. And toward morning, one small bird will be the first to tell everyone that night in the country is nearly over. The owls will go to sleep. The frogs will grow quiet. The rabbits will run away. Then they will spend a day in the country listening to you.